November 4th, 2023. Daily Bread. Passage. Joshua chapter 20, verse 1 to verse 9. Key verse 2. Title. Cities of Refuge. Then the Lord said to Joshua, Tell the Israelites to designate the cities of refuge, as I instructed you through Moses, so that anyone who kills a person accidentally and unintentionally may flee there and find protection from the avenger of blood. When they flee to one of these cities, they are to stand in the entrance of the city gates and state their case before the elders of that city. Then the elders are to admit the fugitive into their city and provide a place to live among them. If the avenger of blood comes in pursuit, the elders must not surrender the fugitive because the fugitive killed their neighbor unintentionally and without malice aforethought. They are to stay in that city until they have stood trial before the assembly and until the death of the high priest who is serving at that time. Then they may go back to their own home in the town from which they fled. So they set apart Kadesh in Galilee in the hill country of Naphtali, Shechem in the hill country of Ephraim, and Kiriath Arba, that is Hebron, in the hill country of Judah. East of the Jordan, on the other side from Jericho, they designated Bezer, in the wilderness on the plateau, in the tribe of Reuben, Ramoth and Gilead in the tribe of Gad, and Golan in Bashan in the tribe of Manasseh. Any of the Israelites or any foreigner residing among them who killed someone accidentally could flee to these designated cities and not be killed by the avenger of blood prior to standing trial before the assembly. Daily Bread Message God had spoken to Moses about cities of refuge in Exodus 21. These cities were to be an integral part of their justice system. A manslayer who accidentally killed a person could flee to these cities to be protected against the avenger of blood. The six cities of refuge were designated throughout the land. These cities were God's appointed places where the slayer would receive protection, justice, and mercy. God cares for all people without partiality, and maintains his perfect mercy and justice. Jesus is the ultimate God-appointed city of refuge. Anyone who comes to him in faith will receive his mercy, justice, and protection. The slayer, who was proven innocent, had to dwell in the city of refuge until the death of the high priest. Although the slayer would be granted pardon, the loss of life was still considered a very serious matter. The death of the priest, in a way, was considered a substitute for the slayer. The slayer would be acquitted of his transgression and would be able to go back home. This points us ultimately to the death of Jesus, our great high priest, who paid for all our sins. Prayer Lord, thank you for Jesus, the city of refuge for all sinners, including sinners like me. One word. Jesus is the city of refuge.